This week, Obscure Characters Month takes a look at the story behind a Decepticon whose name was on everyone's lips this year. These are the basics on the Prince of Public Transport, the dawn of the deleted scene, Transit. In the Transformers brand's 40-year history, it's featured characters who have transformed into a huge number of different vehicles, from cars and trucks to jets and tanks and many, many more. But one vehicle that's surprisingly underrepresented is the Transit Bus. To date, there's never been a single Transformers toy that turns into a bus. Other toy lines have done it, like the Japanese series Machine Robo, which in 1983 featured the Double Decker Bus Robo. Though notably, when Machine Robo was licensed by American company Tonka and released in their markets as GoBots, the Bus Robo was one of the toys they chose not to import. Clearly, there was a perception that a robot turning into something as mundane and everyday as a bus just wouldn't be exciting to kids. Writer-artist Lou Stringer certainly must have thought so. In 1986, he made fun of the very idea of a bus transformer in the Robo Capers comedy strip that he wrote and drew for the British Transformers comic as part of a series on rejected transformers with silly alternate modes. It took until the 21st century before Transformers media finally began to more seriously explore the idea of a robot turning into a bus, beginning with the 2005 Transformers Cybertron cartoon, which briefly featured a civilian Autobot hiding out on Earth with a bus mode. Other examples included the 2007 live-action movie's tie-in video game for the Nintendo DS, which featured several types of buses as potential alternate modes for the player character to scan, and the unusual story of Bendy Bus Prime, a character created for a promotional tie-in with the movie's 2009 sequel, Revenge of the Fallen. You see, to advertise the movie's release on DVD and Blu-ray in the United Kingdom, Paramount Studios launched a campaign to create a British-inspired Transformer, and a poll held on social media determined that the character's alternate mode would be a red London articulated bus. Pinewood Studios' prop shop designed Bendy Bus Prime and built a 13-foot-tall sculpture of him which was then offered as the prize in a contest held by the Sun newspaper. Momentum started to pick up in 2015, when issue number 6 of IDW Publishing's Transformers vs. G.I. Joe comic book featured an unnamed Decepticon who transformed into a yellow American school bus. This bot used their unassuming alt mode as a disguise to transport a platoon of the Decepticon's human allies, the ruthless terrorist organization Cobra, for an attack on the United Nations building. The Decepticon also reappeared in the series' final issue, working with Cobra biker Buzzer to ambush G.I. Joe members Duke and Roadblock when they were seeing Roadblock's daughters off to school. Only a few months after this school bus bot's debut, the concept of a Decepticon bus picked up steam in IDW's tie-in comic for the 2015 cartoon Robots in Disguise. The second issue of this series introduced audiences to Transit, a Decepticon who transformed into a city bus, created by writer Georgia Bell and artist Priscilla Tramontano. Like most Decepticons in the series, Transit had escaped from the prison ship Alcamore after it crashed on Earth, and had a robot mode with animal characteristics, in his case those of a rhinoceros. He used his bus form to take unwitting human passengers prisoner, until Bumblebee and his team of Autobots lured him into gridlock traffic, hampering his mobility and enabling them to rescue the humans and take Transit into custody. In 2017, Transit was introduced into the world of IDW's mainline Transformers comics in a short story published in the second issue of the Hasbro Hero Sourcebook. Maintaining the Robots in Disguise character's Rhino-inspired robot mode, but converting into a red double-decker London bus instead of an American model, this incarnation of Transit was found hiding out in London by the elderly Autobot Cup 
who defeated him in battle with the help of a weapons upgrade provided by UK government tech specialist Bryce Chan. From these small-scale beginnings, Transit was poised to make a sudden jump to the big screen in 2023, with plans for him to feature in the movie Rise of the Beasts in the form of a New York City bus. But the scene featuring him was cut during production. Originally, Transit was going to appear in the movie's opening scene, having travelled from Cybertron to Earth to hunt down the fugitive Optimus Prime. Prime battled him in a deserted New York bus depot, trying to force him to hand over the spaceship in which he'd come to Earth, until Transit revealed he'd already destroyed the ship to ensure Prime couldn't use it to return to Cybertron. The embittered Prime then killed Transit and dumped his body in the Hudson River, where it lay alongside all the other dead Decepticons who'd tried and failed to eliminate the Autobot leader. The scene was deleted after test audiences found it too dark, but actor John DiMaggio was still credited for providing Transit's voice in the finished film, and eventually an incomplete version of the scene was included as a bonus feature with the home media release of the movie. Now, since he was cut from the film, Transit wasn't featured in any promotional material, nor was any merchandise of him created. But fans were still aware of his existence early on, thanks to information leaking out of the test screening, as well as an announcement of the movie's voice cast that included Transit by name. The first actual look at the character came when, a few months before the film's release in March 2023, fans digging around in the back end of Takara Tomy's Rise of the Beasts website found some unused art of him. From there, he kind of took on a life of his own. The lack of any real information about him got fans talking, leading to him being turned into a bit of a meme. And when the film eventually came out and everyone realised that his scene had been deleted, there were even tongue-in-cheek calls for the transit cut of the movie to be released. Now, Transit wasn't the only bus bot to make headlines in 2023. The same year, the video game Fortnite had a crossover with Transformers, which featured a robot based on the game's iconic Battle Bus transport vehicle. But Transit's the one who seems to have really captured fans' imaginations. Plus, with the recent announcement that, in 2024, the Studio Series toyline will start including figures based on concept art for characters who never appeared on screen. Transit fans have good reason to hope that someday soon, this obscure bot might break the franchise's 40-year streak and become the first actual bus transformer toy. And those are the basics on Transit. But Obscure Characters Month isn't over yet. Have a Merry Christmas, and I'll see you again next week, just before New Year's, for one last episode looking at one last obscure bot for 2023.